this is the best budget comm setup with the UV5R to date. It's been a couple years since we developed the solution, and since then, nobody's come up with something I think is even close to as effective for a budget comm solution as this setup right here. If you want to just buy this already, you can go to defenseservers.com, links in the description, but this is the multi-mount mic setup for the Baofeng UV5R. What this system accomplishes right here is it takes a headset like the Walker's Razors, which you might already own, and connects it to a Baofeng radio, giving you push-to-talk capabilities with a mic. And the reason this is so important is because a lot of you guys probably already have something like a UV5R radio laying around like I did, and you might already be using electronic hearing protection like these Walker's Razors, and you just want to connect comms between them without having to buy a whole new comms headset. When we're talking about the world of comms, a lot of people will direct you to buy a pair of something like Comtax. And Comtax are great, don't get me wrong, I use them all the time. The problem with Comtax is they are many hundreds of dollars, excluding the PTT, which is something that a lot of people aren't willing to bite the bullet on just to get into comms. Whereas people already have a bow thing, they already have this hearing protection, and all you need now to put between them is the PTT and the mic, which is what this setup is. So let's go over the parts list for everything right now in this comms setup. We have first the radio. This is a UV5R radio, pretty standard. We have an extended battery on it, a PTT guard, a smaller antenna, a volume knob ring. You can get all that at defensedistributors.com as well. The important part about this radio is the connection. This radio has a K1 two pin connection, which is what we use to determine what PTT we need for the mic. This is also all on the website if you're confused about any of that. And we have multiple PTTs available for different uh, radio setups. But the UV5R uses a K1, which means we'll use a K1 PTT. The radio is then running to a multi-mount mic PTT. This PTT is set up specifically for the multi-mount mic. So if you are using a multi-mount mic, you need to use this PTT. There are some other PTTs out there that do work with it, but it's very iffy if they will or won't. So I'd recommend just getting one that we know does work. This PTT is pretty simple. It's a little mechanism here with a clip on the back to clip onto your gear and it has a single button on it. This button is what activates the mic. You don't need to do anything when you're listening, that signal will come through loud and clear. But when you are talking, you press this button down and that is what activates the mic on your radio. This plug running into the PTT is a plug that you might not be familiar with and there are multiple names for this type of connection. We just call it the multi-mount mic plug because I don't want to confuse people. And the only time we use this plug is for connection with the PTT. But this is the plug on the mic. It's very different than any plug you've probably seen. And that is connected to the multi-mount mic. So the multi-mount mic is a Velcroed on mic that attaches to your hearing protection on the side right here with the included Velcro, which is 3M dual lock. It's very, very strong. As you can see right here, I'm holding the hearing protection up by the Velcro, so it's not very easy to tear off or rip off. And the mic connects to your ear pro using a 3.5 millimeter connection right here on the side. If your hearing protection doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter, one, it's probably not electronic, and uh, two, it won't work with the multi-mount mic. Most of the electronic hearing protection on the market right now has this little 3.5 millimeter port. Walker's razors do, Howard Light Impact Sports do, Sordens do, Peltor Range Guards do, and there's a whole host of others. They put that port on there so you can listen to music, but it's what the multi-mount mic uses to interface with your headset. And that port here is going to allow you to listen. So when someone's talking, it's gonna pump in that audio to your ear pro, and when you're talking, this mic is going to pump that audio out. Pretty simple in nature. And finally, the headset. These are Walker's Razors. I use them because they're very, very popular and a lot of people already have them, so they look at this and go, oh, I want a mic on the side of that, but you don't have to use the Walker's Razors. I typically find myself using Peltor Range Guards, which are another great option, and if you want to look at some of those options, we are now also carrying headphones at defensedistributors.com, and the link to that will be in the description. So if you have all of those parts together, you can take your radio and your headset and connect them together and allow yourself to talk. Now, the price on all this stuff put together, if you are buying all of these items separately, you're looking at uh, combine that, combine that, it probably 100, 200 bucks, somewhere in that range. If you start dropping off items, you can get it cheaper, but the mic setup itself is going to run you over 100 bucks. So it depends on what you can get the rest for. On the flip side of that, just the EarPro Comtax with the mic is going to run you multiple hundreds of dollars just for that. We're not talking about the PTT, which you need a PTT that's triple the price of this to get it to work with the Comtax. It's a whole nother matter. So if you're looking for a budget comm setup that doesn't break the bank, and especially if you have 
some of these parts already. This is my recommendation on how to do it. It's the easiest, simplest way. And to this day, I have not found another solution that rivals it at all. So if you're looking to get any of these parts to complete your comm setup, you can go to the link in the description, defensedistributors.com.